Hey everybody, this is Troy with eBuzz Central. Today we're taking a look at a very different operating system. Are you somebody that is worried about security? Are you somebody that wants to stay anonymous? Well, Tails is the operating system for you. It is designed to be put on a USB drive and you can just carry your operating system around with you or you can install it on a laptop. As a matter of fact, it's the same operating system that Edward Snowden uses. But before we get started and get in too deep, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. It doesn't cost anything and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. This is what you're met with when you boot up into Tails, whether you're on USB or in virtual machine. Right here, it gives you the Tor connection. What the Tor is, it encrypts and anonymizes your connection by passing it through three different relays. Now, these relays may be all over the world. You have two options. You can connect to Tor automatically, which is easier. Hide to my local network that I'm connecting to Tor. Safer. We're just going to go with the easier route today, and we're going to connect. And right now, it's connecting to Tor without bridges, and I'll show you how we can handle this in just one moment. Now, it's come up. Up. You can now browse the internet anonymously and uncensored. If you look up here, this little onion had an X on it a while ago. We're going to go ahead and open the onion circuits and it shows you the circuits over here. These are the relays and you can click each one and it'll tell you the information about that circuit. It will show you that it's fingerprint, published, IP, bandwidth. So let's close out of that. Now we want to start the Tor browser. Okay, the Tor browser has opened up and if you look down here, it shows you we're in the Tor browser and then over here it shows you we're on the Tor connection, which right now, we are completely and totally anonymous. And it gives you information about Tails and gives you information about Tor. Let's do Tor. There's the Tor project. Browse privately. Explore freely. And it says we can try Onion servers. There's more private and secure version of this site available over the Tor network via Onion services. Always optimize the Onion. That way we can close that out. And right here, we can prioritize always. So now we want to go back over, go to Tor, reload. And now we're on the Onion servers. It says you can download the Tor browser, which we already have, but it blocks trackers, it defends against surveillance, resists fingerprinting, it's got multi-layered encryption, and you can browse freely and not worry about being tracked or seeing a ton of ads. But this is basically, in a nutshell, what Tails is with the Tor browser. It defends you against tracking and surveillance and circumvents censorship. And as you can see right here, if you go up and look, usually the information will show up here that you are presently in Dallas, Texas, or you are presently in Seattle. Right now, it states that I'm in the Netherlands. That's the IP address that I'm using. And of course, you can go to dark websites if you choose. You can look them up, darkwebsites.org. You don't have access to these through Chrome or Edge. In the Tor browser, you do, like hidden wikis, Onion links. You can click on this and it'll bring you over to Onion links, which are places on the dark web that if you want to go look and you want to snoop around, you can. Let's get back to Tails. Let's come over here in Applications. Under Accessories, you've got a calculator. You've got a file manager. What you will notice is it's pretty basic. This is your regular GNOME file manager. Matter of fact, I think it is Files 3.30.5 Stable. It's closed. You've got GTK Hash Text Editor. You've got GIMP, Inkscape, LibreOffice Draw, Internet, you've got Electrum Bitcoin Wallet, Onion Circuits, Onion Share, Pigeon Internet Messenger, Thunderbird as your email, Tor Browser, Tor Connection. You got an unsafe browser, but I wouldn't use it if you're wanting to stay anonymous. Look it under Office, you have Booklet Imposer and the LibreOffice Suite. Sound and Video, you have Audacity, Brazero, Sound Juicer, Sound Recorder, Video Player, System Tools, Synaptic Package Manager. If you want a different piece of software, you can go in there and download it. Settings, Additional Software, Root Terminal. Let's see if it's got HTOP. It doesn't have HTOP. It's got top. Uh, it's resting at about 758 megabytes of the two gigabytes I have issued to the machine. And that's with the Onion Network open. So that's not too bad. That's pretty light. System tools. Let's go to uh, Tails. You got about Tails, additional software, configure persistent volume, delete persistent volume, Tails installer, universal access, utilities. You got your system monitor. You've got document viewer, disks. So let's go over here. Let's go back to Tails. Let's look at about Tails. Amnesiac incognito live system. So that's just a brief look at Tails. Tails OS is really interesting. I downloaded it just to cruise around in it and just check things out. But it's really interesting when you get onto the Tor browser and you start looking at what's in the dark web and it's eye-opening quite actually. Uh, there's a lot of information out there that isn't needed but then there's a lot of information out there that is and you can view it and you can do it encrypted. You go through three layers of security. You go in one door they send you to another door to a third door and then you're completely anonymous on the other side 
side. If you want to give this a shot, zip on over to the Tails website, download it, throw it on a USB and play around with it a little bit. Tails OS is very interesting and I think you'd enjoy it. Please, before you go, like and subscribe. It doesn't cost anything. And at the end of the day, if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. Thank you for watching the video and I'll see you in the next video.